Hey, good morning. It is Sunday, the 18th of October, and we are moving closely towards an election. During the end of the month, times and seasons are changing. Timing of our, um, we're soon going to have to uh, have our clocks changed in a short time. Life moves on, doesn't it? And it can be quite stressful, can't it? Are you stressful today? I'm in my work clothes, and so I after this, I have to go out and I have to cut down coconuts off of our coconut trees. Now, you would think that would be great. Maybe you'd say, oh, that'd be cool. But if you know about coconuts, coconut, um, the outer sheeting that goes around it um, of where the actual coconut part, which you buy in the grocery store, it, it gets really large and it gets heavy and you can't leave them on the trees here because of a hurricane. They become like cannonballs, and boy, they are just so damaging when they, they go right through windows and stuff, damage stuff, so you have to cut them down. Well, I have, I think, five coconut trees. Why somebody was inspired to do that, I don't know, but I have to go out and cut them, and it's a dirty, hot job. And I say, well, I'll cut them down while they're still small, but it's so hot, and so, and muggy. So I keep putting it off. Well, today's the day. I have to do it and get dirty and ah, because it's got ants and dirt and stuff all over it. You'd think it'd be clean. No, they're not. They're really dirty. <clears throat> so then you have to line them up and get them thrown away. So it is stressful to me. Now you may be laughing and say, oh, that's, you know, well, life is full of stress, isn't it? You have all kinds of stress in our life from work, from, from uh, financial issues, maybe from family issues or or whatever, or what's going on around us, or health issues, lots of stress. They say every time you move, it shortens your life. Well, I've moved a lot since I've been in the ministry from all over the country. Even though I have down packing down pretty bad, and when the moving van pulls up, everything is absolutely ready to go. They're amazed how quickly they can load up. Well, that's because I get ready. If I didn't, I'd get full of stress, you see. So, anyway, the, Billy Graham shares this, shares this about a secretary. He says, there was a stressed out secretary who said and told her boss, when this rush is over, I'm going to have a nervous breakdown. I earned it, I deserve it, and nobody's gonna take it from me. <laughs> All right, all right, yeah, okay. The Bible knows in the Psalms, there are lots of Psalms that deal with the stresses of life. Are you aware of that? And whether David or some of the others who wrote some of the Psalms, they can become songs, they become poet, they become beautiful things to read. At the end of the 27th Psalm, there's just this little phrase, and I'd like to share it with you. Very At the very end, it says, Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. What good counsel for us. What good counsel for us in, in knowing the wait for the Lord to help us in our most stressful times. Would you practice that? Waiting on the Lord, it lets us release our stress, be at peace with him, be at peace with their Stress can be a killer. And yes, wait on the Lord. The Lord will resolve and work through your issues. All right, let's have prayer. Dear Lord, thank you. Start of this new week that we can take our stress and we can wait on you. I thank you, Lord, for hearing that and being with us. May your spirit teach us to be patient and to lessen our stress. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, have a great week. God bless you. We will see you tomorrow, all right?